what type of country you want to live in. It's my pleasure today to introduce, she's also the youngest UN ambassador in American history. Before six, on the national security staff at the Obama White House. In the LGBT and women's rights, the promotion of religious freedom and the protection of religious minority. Look at my country. Look at the ways in which in recent days, extremely destructive invocation of fear has begun to dominate in our political discourse. In the wake of the Paris attacks, many officials, public servants, have appealed to our people's fears of refugees, saying that we should turn away people who have suffered bombings, people who've suffered disappearances, people who've suffered religious persecution. We should turn them away. Now, these are all experiences that Sri Lankans can relate to. Some people in America have even suggested that we apply a religious test to those seeking refuge in our country, or that we place entire populations under surveillance simply based on their religion. This is outrageous. It is offensive, and it smears the legacy that the United States has the proud and long-held tradition of taking in people who have endured profound suffering. Ambassador Powell was a professor at Harvard University's John F. Kennedy School of Government. Ambassador Powell has been an inspiration because she started her career as a journalist and I witnessed to it in the Bosnian War as a young reporter. Ambassador Powell conflict that can tear nations apart and people apart and make the world. Just consider the last few weeks alone. Ankara, Sinai, Beirut, Paris, Bamako. It can start to feel bleak. And that is why what you are doing here in Sri Lanka is so important. For your own people, of course, but also for people far away from this island. People around the world are watching Sri Lanka. We are talking about the process that you all are engaged in here. We are completely behind your efforts. Okay. Sticky. Hot. Tell everybody that there are refreshments downstairs. Uh, oh.